always, my first step is to use an eye primer or base. I want this eye to be really clean and light on the lid, so today I'm using Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm finally using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette after having it forever. And the first shade I'm going in with is Salted Caramel. I'm applying this into the crease with a fluffy blending brush as my transition color. Using the same brush, I'm taking the shade Milk Chocolate from the palette and sweeping this into the crease overlapping my transition color. This color is going to give the crease a little bit more definition. Next, I'm taking a more precise pointed crease brush in the shade Cherry Cordial and I'm depositing most of the color into the outer V, then softly blending the color inwards in short circular motions. Then I'm using whatever is left on the first blending brush to blend any harsh edges. I wanted an all matte pinup kind of eye, so next I'm going in with the shade White Chocolate and applying this to the bare space on my lid. Afterwards, I'm using a clean blending brush to soften any harsh lines. Keeping up with the pinup theme, I applied a semi-dramatic wing liner off camera and a little bit of Benefit's Eye Bright to my waterline. Then I'm smudging that cherry cordial shade to my lower lash line. I'll also be applying a pair of falsies and a couple coats of mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm evening out my skin with a full coverage matte foundation. Pinup looks like the ones you see Dita Von Teese wear. Almost always have a smooth matte look, so I'm applying my foundation with a damp beauty blender to ensure a flawless application. I really wanted a brightened under eye area but not too harsh so I'm applying LA Girls Pro Concealer with a very little bit of Max Prep and Prime Highlighting Pen for an extra boost of brightness. Once I have everything blended I'm setting my face with my face powder. To give a softly defined shape to the face but not really a bronzy look, I'm going in with an extra dimension bronzer by MAC and a fluffy angled brush. I wanted to give a sweet pinch of color to the cheeks so I'm applying Deep Throat which is one of my favorite blushes by NARS. Then for a soft glow to the cheekbones, I'm highlighting with Madison Street Beauty's Sheer Glow Highlighter. Moving on to the lips, I wanted a deep berry red lip perfect for fall, so I'm first using MAC's Matte Lipstick in Viva Glam 1 and filling my entire lip using a lip brush for a very clean, precise application. To add more of a soft ombre effect, I am taking another one of MAC's matte lipsticks in Sin and I'm using this to outline my lip 
and then blending it in with the Viva Glam 1 shade for a very pretty soft ombre. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. Again, all of the products used will be listed down below as always. Don't forget to check out my blog for more pictures. And of course, thanks for watching and subscribing if you have. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! that I'm wearing right now is Glam Angels hair. The hair that I have in now are three bundles of their Peruvian straight hair in the 